Otherwise, it will be an execution. Having the knowledge and the skills and the abilities to go and help people in their time of need is, is an amazing feeling. We have a very rewarding job. Um, we get to go out and we get to see the community and help the community as much as we can. We get to help people you know, in their worst times and we get to be trusted in the fact to go into their homes and to help them out and to be able to fix somebody's day. It's incredible. The, the people that you work with, the relationships that you form with, your coworkers. Um, and just having the ability to go to work every day and do something that you love to do. You know, the actual work of the job is, is, is we just never know every day. You know what I mean? Like, we train for it. We train for it every day. You know, we, uh, we put a lot of hard work into it. Um, but we never know what we're going to get, and that's actually part of the fun of the job, too. Like, we could go on someone who, you know, maybe just a lady who's having, having a bad day. She's, she's just sick and not feeling good, and then we're there to make her feel better or go to that, you know, that, that, that house fire. You know, we, we really don't know what it's going to be, but that's, I think, the fun part of this job is, is not knowing what we're going to get to every day. It's not monotonous. It's not your typical 9-to-5 job. There's so many different dynamics to, to this job, being a firefighter, especially nowadays. I think people view firefighting as that we only... We go on fires and that's it. And what people don't know is, um, you know, the majority of it is medical, it's true. The, the fires are perks, not that I would want anyone's house to burn, but if it does, I, I definitely want to be there to help. It's not the common profession where you just show up to work, you get paid, you go home. Uh, you get to come to the station, enjoy yourself with guys that you get to know over years, um, and really just grow in a, in a family atmosphere. You know, at the station we get to have brothers and sisters that we get to spend time with and get to hang out with. We get to eat together, we get to work out together, we get to run calls together, we get to just have a really good family vibe, you know, at the station. So being a firefighter is really good both in the fire station as well as outside the fire station helping people. It is a great thing to work in a fire station, work with a crew, that you guys are on the same page, you've trained together, you sleep together, you eat together, and and you go out and you you go out and you treat the public together, and you do it in a great in a way that is just um, that is great customer service, and you come back and you know you did a great job. That's the kind of people that we're looking for, and if you are willing to do that and become a part of that, but you're looking out for the good of the organization, you're looking out for the good of the public and the citizens of Phoenix. You're the person that we want to hire. If you look at our organization, we got all different shapes and sizes of firefighters, all different races, all uh, males and females. So there's not one particular picture of a person that we're looking for. I think most important is the qualities people have. If you have a positive attitude, a good work ethic, and, and you truly care, and you truly want to make this city better, um, that's the people we want to hire. You know, uh, I don't, you don't have to be the biggest, strongest person out there. You know, it, physically we want somebody who is in shape. That, that off, that's obviously a big part of this job. But someone who has, can have a, a good work ethic, positive attitude, and, and just truly cares and truly wants to be here and wants to do the right thing for the community and for, for the members, um, that's the people that we want to hire. This is a job where we work in a team at all times, so you need to be a team player. Uh, sacrificing for your teammates, not looking at what's best for you, looking at what's best for the uh, man or woman next to you. Adam, grab our box, you got them. You're gonna work with three. What we do every day is we prepare for somebody's worst moment, and whether that be a fire, uh, a cardiac incident, or a car wreck, anything that someone needs, we spend our day training and figuring out ways to make that as easy as possible for them and to help them when they, when they need us. It's just like athletics to me, you practice, 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 
and every now and then you have a game, which is the fire for us, you know. In sports, you practice way more than you play. And that's, that's what we do. We practice way more than we play. And we also have to go on the man downs, the guy that's a diabetic that's not taking care of his sugar, uh, the elder lady that keeps falling and her family doesn't know what to do. We're problem solvers at the end of the day. People call us when they have a problem and we got to do what we got to do to solve it. When we go down, we're going to do the hook two, grab four. We'll go down a little bit, flip over. We'll climb back up, jump back in. And then we're going to go down head first the second time. You have to be motivated as a Phoenix firefighter to show up to work every day, ready to train, ready to work out, ready to uh, take some initiative. Um, because not every day are we racing off to a, a huge emergency. But every day we have to have the mindset that that day is coming. It's going to come, whether it's today or tomorrow or next week, it, it is going to come for us. And so we have to be prepared for that. And the TV shows, all you see is the, the glamour and the glory of being a firefighter. You know, the, the risk in your lives, saving people and knowing, the, hey, close calls and being dangerous. And, and whoo, that was risk, especially the risk taking. It's not like that being a firefighter, you know, it really isn't, you know, we're a safe, we're a safe department. You no, know, that's why we train every single day. It comes with the territory of knowing that it's a dangerous career, but with the, the tools that we're provided, the training, and most importantly, the having somebody that you can trust, that you know that they're willing to put their life on the line for yours, it, it puts me at ease and it lets me do my job uh, comfortably and efficiently. You don't look at a clock on our job. Uh, the only time that you look at a clock is whether it's child time, uh, for lunch or dinner. And that's really the only times we look at the clock. Uh, otherwise, you just, you're just there working. You're there serving the community. Um, the guys and gals put in hard work for long hours. I think that's, that's the non-glamorous side that, that people don't see. And whether you're a probationary firefighter, a senior firefighter, a captain, an engineer, um, or a chief, everybody has a job to do and everybody has a role to play. And so typically people that have played sports, whether that be uh, childhood sports, uh, you know, high school, collegiate, professionally, those people typically uh, understand the hierarchy of how teams work, how to play a role. And in addition to, to that, uh, people in the military seem to also find a niche within that, uh, that hierarchy, the paramilitary style playing a role, but it's no different than anyone that's team oriented. So someone that uh, works in an office can have the same understanding as someone that's been a professional athlete. And I think those people that have a team oriented mindset will really excel in this profession. I looked at the fire department as, wow, what a great way to, to be able to get a steady, steady job with good benefits for my family, to be able to take care of my family, number one. I think we're well paid and uh, we've got great benefits. It's still awesome and it's still a great job. Joining the Phoenix Fire Department, besides choosing my wife, was the best decision I ever made. I'm around people that care about me every day and my well-being and not only mine, but my family's. Uh, I'm around an organization that is looking after my best interests and I'm able to take care of my family in a pretty fantastic manner, I think. I think the potential uh, for growth in this job is, is a, an amazing characteristic that, uh, that we have. We're very fortunate because this job allows you the opportunity to do anything that it is that you want to do. Um, and when you first get hired, everybody starts the same as a BLS probationary firefighter. But because of the opportunity, you can do anything you want, um, whether that you become a paramedic or you seek out special, special certifications such as TRT or HAZMAT or airport firefighting. Um, you know, you have the ability to do those things if that's what you desire to do. In addition to that, you know, becoming an engineer, being able to drive the trucks or being the captain in a super, supervisor's role all the way through battalion chief and deputy chief, assistant chief. You could be the fire chief if that's really what you aspire to. People that become firefighters, they're typically go-getters and because this job is so diverse and Phoenix is such a big city and we have so many uh, areas that you can work in, 
it, it's an amazing opportunity for you to, to do whatever it is that you want to do throughout your career. We don't see too many females in this, in this, um, in this career. It, it's still, it's something that is definitely attainable. Do I think every female can do it? Definitely not. It, I think it takes a certain, just like a man, I think it, ta it does take a certain, certain type of person to be able to do this job. There's so many things that this job offers that, you know, anyone would love. You know, our schedule is amazing, the people are amazing, the family atmosphere is amazing. Um, there are so many benefits to this job. You know, you provide for your family, you can provide for your retirement, um, that if anyone is, has the heart and the desire to do this job, they'd find a way. They'll definitely get a way to do the job. This is an amazing career. It's incredibly rewarding and it's worth all the sweat equity that it takes to get hired on this job. You know, everybody says that it's a, it's, a, it's a job to obtain a career and it is a lot of work and that's time away from family, it's time away from friends, it's, it's studying for EMT or passing your CPAT or studying for your, your interview and all that stuff in the end is, is well worth it when you get that phone call and they tell you that, that they're going to offer you an opportunity to go to the academy. It's an amazing feeling that first time that you pull on that, that blue shirt and it has your name on it and it says Phoenix Fire Department on the back. It's something that, that you will never forget. And um, every day I go to work, I just feel incredibly fortunate to be able to wear this blue shirt. And I think that if you're someone that takes pride in, in what you do and you, you have an opportunity to do this career, uh, you will never regret it.